Good afternoon. Today I'm making Parmesan crusted tilapia and roasted potatoes. So I have all my ingredients for my my tilapia and my and my roasted potatoes. So I have garlic powder, onion powder, salt, salt, black pepper, parsley flakes, a fresh garlic, olive oil, Italian seasoning. That's for the roasted potatoes. And I have for the the um, the Parmesan crusted tilapia. I have Parmesan cheese. I have um, plain breadcrumbs. I have mustard, Dijon mustard. I have water, two eggs, olive oil, um, parsley, butter, and salt. I also I'm gonna put in black pepper. So what I'm gonna start with first is the roasted potatoes this out of the way. I'm going to have to slice up the potatoes. Okay. So the potatoes are going to go in this bowl. Yeah. And I have my, my potatoes already washed off and everything. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to slice it in half. And put it in an air fryer and I'm going to sear well fry the tilapia the roasted tilapia the parmesan crusted tilapia so this is not going to take very long so I'm just cutting it in halves and I'm going to mix all the ingredients together put it in the pan and put it in the oven See, that's not, that's not taking very long. I cut them in half. Okay, that's done. So now we're going to put black pepper, this is about a, a, about a teaspoon of fresh black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of the parsley. A teaspoon of baked um, garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and I put two tablespoons of olive oil. Now, for the I like a lot of fresh garlic, so I'm going to put half of this. Okay. I forgot to get my gloves. So we're gonna mix, we're gonna mix all of this together. So it looks like it needs a little bit more olive oil. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. 
about a teaspoon more. So, see how nice and coated it is? That's how, that's how you want it, okay? So now I'm going to... So I'm going to put it in the air fryer for like 45 minutes. potatoes gotta make sure all of the um, potatoes are coated with the, the seasoning I'm going to put this in the oven now. Okay. Put it in the oven for 350 for 45 minutes. Okay? And it's on in the air fry for 45 minutes. Now I'm going to get my tilapia. So I have my tilapia and I'm going to, it's been rinsed off, been put on this paper and I'm going to pat it dry. Okay. I have seven pieces and this is frozen, frozen tilapia. And I'm going to pat it dry. Okay. Pat it dry. So in this bowl here, move it out the way, I'm going to add I'm going to add the egg. The olive oil. I'm going to add the water 
to the olive, to the mustard and I'm going to mix that make sure all that mustard gets in there and I'm going to add the butter okay So this is the this is the base for this is the base for the fish. The fish will go in here first, and then it's going to go onto the um, the breadcrumbs. So in this bowl now, get this out of the way. I'm going to put the breadcrumbs, the grated Parmesan cheese, okay, the parsley, and the salt. And the black pepper. So we mix that together. And if you wanted to use the um, the already seasoned breadcrumbs, you can. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. So I added the, the, the plain breadcrumbs, the Parmesan cheese, the parsley flakes, the salt, and black pepper. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to... I'm going to add two teaspoons of garlic powder. That's what I'm going to put extra kick two teaspoons of onion powder and I'm going to put some smoked paprika okay two teaspoons also So I'm trying to break up the um, the cheese, the Parmesan cheese, because it's very clumpy. Okay. So we're gonna do one at a time. We're gonna put two in the pan. Make sure this is mixed well. Make sure all that cheese is mixed. Okay. So that's mixed well. Okay. Cheese. Move the fish out the way. Get my platter. 
for my fish. All right. Let me mix in the butter. The butter, the butter hasn't incorporated yet. So this is Dijon mustard. Well, this is funny Dijon mustard. I didn't have regular Dijon mustard. Use what you have. Water, two eggs. Okay. So the batter first. Put my pan on first, huh? Put that on. Add my oil, not a lot of oil, just enough. I'm using olive oil. Coat the bottom of the pan. It's about four tablespoons. So you're going to wait until that oil gets really hot and we'll do two at a time. Let's get in there. I can feel it. And if you want, you could do this in the oven also. You could do it in the air fryer. You could put it in the oven. So.
it's it not going to take very long to cook because there's a relatively tin fish. I don't want too much salt in the in the seasoning because the cheese has salt and I already put salt in the in the breadcrumbs in the breading. is done. First one is done. The potatoes have 31 minutes on it. It's in the air fryer. I'm about to take the other one out the up the off the um Okay, nice. So I have two more pieces to cook. And it smells really good. really really good so now I'm going to turn these over here we go just want to make sure it's cooked properly Sorry for covering the pan. So this one, this one is done. I'm gonna wipe it out and put the last two in as soon as this is finished. nice. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks really nice. Here we go. All right, so this is finished.
Now I'm going to wipe out the pan because of the of the um, breadcrumbs. So I'm going to wipe it out. Just making sure all the breadcrumbs is out. All right, so I'm gonna add some more olive oil. Some more olive oil to the pan. Get the olive oil really hot. So we're going to put this in. There we go. So this is finished. We don't need this anymore. And tomorrow I'm doing um, apple turnovers and apple fritters. I'm really excited to do the apple fritters. Right, so put this. So we don't need this anymore. I'm going to throw this away. So look how that looks. OMG. So that looks really good. I'm still here. All right, so I'm going to turn this one over. really good you can smell the mustard and you can smell oh I wish you, I wish you was here to smell the roasted potatoes that smells really good We got 22 minutes on the roasted potatoes.
Okay, so this is finished. It looks nice. The fish looks beautiful. You see that? So that's Parmesan crusted tilapia. I'm gonna put some lemons with it. Nice. Okay. The fish is done and the roasted potatoes just finished. Let's take a look. At the roasted potatoes. They're perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil. There we go. A little olive oil. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm going to put it on my platter right here. Oh, it's hot. I'm going to pile up these potatoes. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to put some lemons on a lemon on this side and a lemon on this side. In the corner here. And look at that. Very nice. I'm going to take out the rest of I do with a pot holder the rest of the potatoes this looks amazing okay I'm gonna drizzle some oil on it also all right These look really good. And they're done perfectly. So 45 minutes on the um in the convection and the um in the air fryer. It's perfect. Potatoes are hot. I'm trying to put all of them on here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop some parsley and sprinkle on top. Perfect potatoes. Perfect potatoes.
potatoes is hot. The pot pots are hot. So I'm gonna, oh right, my gosh, it looks so nice. So nice. So I'm gonna chop up some parsley. With some garnish. I chopped up the, the parsley for the garnish and that's done and look at that beautiful 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 I will see you tomorrow tomorrow I have apple turnovers and apple fritters I hope you join me tomorrow and I'll see you then from one from one from 12 to 1 tomorrow tomorrow is from 12 to 1 thank you see you tomorrow